Hi everybody, it's Kara. I am going to do another pour. Let's see that. I just poured, poured my base coat down, my homemade base coat. And I think what I'm going to do um, with this one is I'm, I made um, a pouring solution to go with my alcohol inks. And I'm going to mix some of that into a cup. And I'll do a pour and see what happens. How's that? So I'm going to start with I'm going to need the white. It's the white right there. Yes, it is. So I'm going to start with the white. Pour it in there. And now, this is my pouring solution. It is antifreeze. 10 mils of antifreeze mixed with probably way too much. <laughs> oh well. Mixed with 99% um, alcohol. Let's make sure that I don't shake up my paints here. So that. So the colors I'm using are. Um, White, black, red, oops, and silver. I do like silver. Oops, oops, there we go. And that stuff is not uh, not mixing up at all. So white, black, black, red, and silver. white, black, red, and silver. There we go. All right. I don't know how this is going to work or what it's going to do, but we'll find out. It's not mixing in there anyway, but um, here it goes. Anyway, I just got to spread this around. Um, so I guess when I was uh, taping yesterday, the, the music was still too loud. So I just, uh, if I'm, if I'm going to videotape, then I won't play the music because it's kind of distracting for you. <laughs> it wasn't distracting for me, but it'd be nice if you could hear me over top of, you know, all that crap. Um, again, my, uh, my, uh, base coat is made from, uh, uh, satin um, indoor paint, like wall paint, acrylic wall paint, and I'm I've got Floetrol in it, and um, what else have I got? I'm gonna get my shirt in crack. This is not the best shirt to be wearing with this either. Um, I'm going to uh, I put Floetrol in it and silicone in it and water. Um, I have used other things like uh, Elmer's glue. I've used that for um, for medium, mixing medium, and I've used um, uh, Liquidex, uh, high gloss or gloss medium. It wasn't high gloss though. It really didn't make any difference to the to the paint once it even once it dried. It really didn't do too much to it. So. Um, what else do I use? Oh, Dawn dish soap. <laughs> a blue Dawn dish soap. It does not color the paint. Well, I found it doesn't. If you don't put a lot in, I mean, if you put a lot in, your paint's going to turn blue. But if you just put a bit in, it doesn't change the color. And it uh, really does some cool stuff to your paint. Anyway, I'm going to just leave it like that. And now I'm going to just give it a good torch here. Get rid of some of the air bubbles. 
the, apparently the, the, I've never tried it, but um, with the acrylic paint I've been told you can, you don't necessarily have to go around popping the bubbles with heat because uh, it takes so long to dry that the air bubbles will actually rise to the top themselves. However, I haven't, uh, I haven't tested that theory. All right, well, here we go. I'm gonna do a drag and pull, I guess. <laughs> and this is already looking pretty cool. So I'm just gonna leave that down till it runs out some more. And I'm actually gonna bring it down to the side to my right arm when I drag it. I'm gonna twist it and bring it down that way. So one, two, three, down. Oh my, this is really cool. Okay, now I'm just gonna t tip it around. Yeah, it, it made it, it the, I put too much in, but that's okay. It just made it super runny, um, but it'll still, still be fine. It's stinky too. Whew. It's okay, cause I've got the door open and we're all good. We're all good. Oh, I've got a red blob or something in there. <laughs> right there. There we go. That way. That way. That way. And let the let it run a bit. Oh, I'm not happy with this. I'll tell you that right now. I'm gonna have to pour over it. I can tell you right now. No, oh, I don't know. Shit. Shoot. <laughs> There's the true colors coming out. Hmm. Shoot, that, that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I'm just going to add some of that, some black, some red, some silver, silver. And I'm going to do that. Pour white around it. Um, and I, I need to get a better setup for my phone. However, I'm just trying to get the paint as much off my hands as possible before I pick my telephone up. Because I just want you to have a look and see um, what I did. And it's just running, running, running. No, I'm not going to do that because I can't get that off. Anyway, um, now I'm going to take the hairdryer to it. You are going to not like the sound on this at all. So it's only going to take a minute. something with that. I don't even have a balloon. Anyway, I'm going to tip it some more. Just kind of get it. Yeah, this isn't burning out at all. And that's okay, because shit happens, right? I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to do that. Bring it down the ends. I might as well just cover it and then I can use it and paint over it again so it's not really a big deal but I will do another one because yeah I could actually draw on it couldn't I some really cool effects. It just needs some brighter colors on it, I think. And I, I really kind of like what it's doing with the... It's really kind of cool <laughs> what it's doing with the uh, antifreeze. Excuse me. But what color can I put on there? Hmm. I don't know. 
it's neat, but I just, the colors aren't all that. It's very um, gray and black. And the red has turned to a rose color, which is okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's just not something that I think I like too much. Now I'm going to do my old famous twirlies here with my fingers and hope for the best. monitor going for my little guy. He's tucked into bed now. And the monitor reaches all the way out here. It's not all the way, it's just in the yard, but I can come out and do this. There's people in the house, but Jeff's in the house, but you know. Still nice to be able to kind of hear what's going on in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jeff being my partner of hmm, more than 23 years. I guess we dated for about two years before we got married. Then he popped the question. But I knew he was going to pop the question. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Did you know? No, I didn't know. So, now I don't know what to do. I don't really like this at all. I'd like to take it out and Flatter it off. Oh, darn. Darn, darn, darn. <laughs> burn, burn, burn. When will you learn? Shoot. Ah. Poor phone. Oh, well, here. I'll just use my shirt now. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that, am I? Press that and turn it off? I don't know. There. This looks like shite. I wonder if it's dripping all over the place. Is it still? Yeah, it kind of is. I'm taking it off. I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it as much of it off as I can and I'm going to do a different one I do kind of like what it's leaving on here as a base um, There. I'm okay with that now. Because now I've just got a, another top coat. And that's that's what it obviously needed. <laughs> so that's kind of sucky that that didn't go very well. Because I've made other ones with black and red and white. And I think it's probably because I used that poor stuff in it. So yeah, that's a bit of a bust. Because it made, I put too much in. It made it really thin. And so it would have just all kind of run off anyway. So I'll do another one right now. This time I'm going to um, I'm gonna pour it into there now, am I? Put it into here. That's what I'll do. I reuse my cups all the time. There's white. 
is red. There's black. Silver. I'm going to do these colors again because I really know that it's got the potential to be beautiful. White, red, and if you pour it down the sides of the cup, then it floats on top of the paint below, which is kind of what you want if you're doing, uh, well, if you're doing a ring pour, then that's kind of what you want. If you're doing just a, like a, a dirty pour where you're just dumping it over like I did, um, you'd want, you'd want to, uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to get different effects, the different ways that you uh, line it up in your cup. Make sense? So I've got white, red, silver, and black in here, and I do not have any of that other stuff. I keep that for my ink, though, because it does work out really well. Now I'm just going to let it pour. So I'm going to move that hair out of the way. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. <coughs> I'm just kind of doing a ring pour here and see what happens. See what happens. And now it's coming down to the end of the cup. And just keep pouring it around and I'll show you what it looks like this time. I go spreading it out. And I'm just going to use it all here. All right. So do this without too much hassle maybe there like that that's what it looks like okay now what I'm gonna do is tip it a bit and try and keep as much of the shape as I possibly can People have different, I kind of like to bring it back to center and then go that way. I know you can't see it, you're only seeing the back, but I will bring it down more for you. See? stretching it a bit. I don't have enough paint on there, but that's okay because I can add some more. And then down that way. And then down that way to that corner. And I'm going to do another one look because I don't want to stretch it out too much. lids on them. Anyway, so I'm going to do that again. White. Very nice. I'm going to do more of them. And I'm only going to do one layer on this. Red. Black. We'll do one right here.
All right. Now, oops, flop. That's okay. It's a pretty great day here today in our lovely province. Very beautiful day. I went to a flea market and sold a few things. I, I'm going to, um, it's sort of like a, a health market um, on Saturday and Sunday because uh, um, I do uh, nursing foot care as well. So I'm going to go advertise that, but I'm going to bring my painting as well because I just think it's a great form of therapy and it might encourage, you know, other people to uh, to maybe give it a go and see see how they do. Oh, this is this is very cool. I like this a lot. That's much better. This is my style here. <laughs> there we go. I don't want to overstretch it either. So I'm going to hmm, I don't want to I don't want to I don't want it to blow around, that's for sure. More white. More red. Black. Not much, not much black this time. No. I'm going to lighten it up a bit. And I don't think I'm going to bother with the silver on this one either. Now I'm going to just go over to this corner. I'll do it right here. I've ruined so many shirts. That's awesome. I'm going to do a 3D thing here. I want it to spread all the way down here to the other corner. Kind of hoping that it'll take some funky effect by doing it like this. All right. So I'm going to bring you over again and show you what I did without damaging my phone too much. Be careful not to dump it in because I have done that. There. You see that? I started up there. It's kind of like a tornado. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to let that sit for a minute because it's starting that is starting to kind of make some really cool stuff. Look at this. Somebody got me a drink. Pink lemonade. Mm -hmm. Delicious. That's Scooby Doo, by the way. Impersonation of Scooby Doo. Oh, I'm making a whole mess. Yeah, well, that's okay. I was a I was a, a, a tidy child when I was when I was younger, so I'm making up for it. And now that I'm older, now I'm just gonna tip this a little bit. This is what I'm talking about. Right there. Right there at the top. Let's see it when I pull the camera up closer. It's really neat. Oh, bogeys. Happy about this. Oh yeah, you see, you just stick to what you know, right? Stop this messing around with stuff. So I do like to kind of experiment though. So, if you want to see me do some artwork on something, like a pour or something like that, I can do that. Just uh, put a comment below. Remember to give me a thumbs up. 
leave a comment. It counts. It helps me uh, get my channel up and running. Believe it or not, because uh, somebody commented, uh, I got a couple of really nice comments the other day, and all of a sudden I had like this, oh, well now you can do this, and now you can do that on YouTube. Because somebody finally said something back to me. So that's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you also very much for all those wonderful compliments that you, uh, that you gave me on my mask piece. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun, actually. I really liked that. I'm just kind of playing in it now. <laughs> this is, this is like... <sighs> so, um... So relaxing. So relaxed, I couldn't remember what I was going to say. All right, now, Kara's in a mask, Kara's in a mask. Uh, I think I need more hand wipes too. Hmm. I gotta get garbage can out here. Oh gosh. Oh no, I got more wipes in here, look at that. I just wanna um, go over it with a torch now, if I can. <clears throat> A little bit cooler here today. I'm not so red in the face. It's, uh, it's that magic age, you know. If it gets the slightest bit warm outside, it's like five times the temperature inside me. And <laughs> well, I'm not doing too bad. I can't complain. I've got great kids. And... Anyway, I can't complain. <laughs> really. Yeah, I'm just going over it with this just to kind of break up the air and also it kind of creates the, the cells a little bit more too and just yeah just that <laughs> so I do like that I really do like that. that's off I'm gonna put it down there um Dripping, 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 and uh, should I do this? I think I should. <coughs> How about I do a double? So I'm going to take this chain, and no, it's not real gold, and I'm just going to kind of lay it down like that, and then I'm going to I'm going to kind of, I think I'll start down this way. Maybe I'll have better luck starting down this way. Yes, she says. Yes. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to try that again here. Works better when I do it upside down. It's probably because I'm left-handed. Well, but yeah, it works better for me when I do it backwards. 
<laughs> so this may not be actually backwards, right? It may be that I'm doing it the right way. Or should I say the left way? Ooh. I think I'd like to do another. I'm going to do another one of those um, ring pours, but I'm going to do it uh, like the tornado. I really like that. Um, yeah, I'll do a tornado thing on this side because I really like the effect that it's getting over. I'm not going to. I was going to put silver in it. That's right. Silver is kind of it. Kind of overtakes it. I find that if you use uh, metallics, it does. If you use too much, it does kind of overtake the picture. So, uh oh, that's not me. That's my bottle. How rude. I'll sit down. So rude. Oh my god. I have boys. Can you tell? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a good supper. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start up here. No, I'm not going to start right here. I don't want to stretch it like I did with the other one. I like the effect that the uh, that the chain did, but you know, I kind of um, like this a lot better, so I'm going to uh, do some more here. There we go. I've got paint on my window. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stretch it this way. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. i got to get my camera hooked up so that uh, it's hanging from the ceiling so that you can see it better. Stretching brings out the cells even more. Uh, and that's because I've got um, Floetrol and I've got silicone in it. So that helps a lot with, uh, with uh, creating different effects. So it's good. I'm gonna dump that off too much. You know, I always, I always think <laughs> when I'm watching other people doing these things, you think, because uh, I'm sitting on the other side watching, I'm seeing pictures and stuff in their art that uh, I was like, okay, just stop there. Just stop, because I can see it. it looks really cool. And then they pick it up and they do something else to it. So I think that's essentially what I just did. And like I said yesterday, I'm not going to apologize for it. And I'm glad I did what I did because this is nice. This is really nice. And I think it needs, I don't know, a bit of gold or something, I think, on it. I'm gonna put that in there, maybe, and squirt some water in it. Where's my bottle of water? There it is. I just keep, I don't have running water at my, uh, in my little she shack, so I keep a, a bottle of water uh, down here for rinsing off 
stuff. So I just threw my chain in a cup of water so that uh, the paint doesn't dry on it and I can use it again. I had to practice that a little bit more, those chain pulls, because I really like doing them, but they don't seem to go all that well for me. This one is quite nice. And now I think I'll take the torch to it and then I'll take the phone and show y'all what I did. But I want to put some gold on it, I think, before it dries, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm going to actually mix up some mica, what do you think? Oh, there's my husband home. Let me just show you this because he's going to come in probably. And, uh, oh, poop. Okay, it's still going good. I don't know what, what happened there, but anyway, there it is. Right there, kind of. I do like this effect quite a bit. Just hoping that I'm getting the picture, because <laughs> it's hard to tell. My phone won't let me uh, turn it around once I start videotaping. There. That looks nice. I'm very happy with it. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn the bell on so you get notified when I put another video on. And um, I'm just trying to take some paint off of my, off of my phone. Anyway, have a great night. And uh, remember that art is very personal and it helps a lot. So be kind and uh, maybe see you tomorrow. Have a good night.